I think it's safe to say that we as guys are always looking for some sort of surefire way to always get the girl of our dreams. And I really don't know why it's like that for a lot of guys. Maybe because that, you know, we're secretly lover boys. We want to give out, you know, all this dormant feelings that we have within ourselves that we don't want to like show off in front of our friends because we know we get roasted before it. Or maybe because it's Valentine's Day, you know, that's around the corner and we want someone to celebrate it with. However, we do have that sort of lack of knowledge of how to actually obtain the girl once we see someone in our sights that we actually like. But today, I'm gonna make that very simple for you guys by giving you five tips on how you can get your dream girl coming up. Welcome to HP Fashion, where we give you tips and advice for men's fashion, grooming, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Zach Fobbs. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when more great content is dropped just like this. If you haven't guessed it already, inspiration for this video comes from the fact that Valentine's Day is just around the corner, guys. And this is around the time where I notice a lot of guys try to find ways to actually get the girls that they actually want to date and or spend that time around Valentine's Day with that way they won't be alone during that time and it's really not that complicated when you you know when you get down to it you know I've done the research I've spoken to not only just my girlfriend but to other girls that are around in my life I talked to some of my oldest friends some of my more closer friends and just people that I just randomly sometimes will just see whenever they come into the job just I'm just kind of give you guys a little bit of backstory just so you know that this data that I'm giving you guys as simple as it sounds, is not coming just randomly out of my head. This is stuff that people have actually told me. But let's just go ahead and get started with this list. The first thing you need to do is take time to date yourself. This is a time in your life, there's no really time limit to it, so it, it can exceed even past Valentine's Day. But just in general, find time to date yourself. Find out who you are as a person, who you want to inspire to be, you know, what type of person you want to be, what mark you want to leave on this earth so that you can actually say that this is your legacy on the day that you die. And it sounds pretty complex, it sounds pretty deep, but I think it's a pretty necessary part of our dating experience, you know? is one of those things where we have to find out what type of person we are, you know, in order to know what we're going to be able to bring to the table. So in this time, I encourage every single guy to just sort of improve, improve every single day that you can, whether it's through your, with your style, your grooming, with your exercise routine, with how you're doing at your job, or trying to pick up your, you know, some hobbies you want to try to pick up, improve on some things that you actually want to see, you know, prosper in your life. Therefore, Therefore, when it comes time for you actually finding someone or someone com comes across your way that might catch your eye, you you know that you're gonna be that much of a better person for that person for that person that you're pursuing. That way, the relationships can be that much more compatible. Number two, be confident. I'm gonna tell you to be confident in just about every single aspect that you have going on in your life. But for sure, when it comes to talking to women and trying to trying to ask out that girl that you really like have confidence guys that is the key to success i cannot tell you how many times that i have you know just completely blew my shot just because i was very fidget you know when it comes to talking to girls i wasn't a great conversationalist i didn't know how to get the ball rolling and i was just very indecisive about what i wanted to say and or what i wanted to do if the girl actually said yes and i just completely turned a lot of girls off but when i gained some confidence in myself by you know improving on myself I actually, you know, found it a lot easier to talk to girls, you know, just just in that simple confidence boost, it made it a lot easier to, you know, talk to girls and girls, they have like this supernatural power where they kind of feed off that sort of energy, you know, they, they are looking for guys who are actually confident in what they're doing and what they're saying. Therefore, if they meet a guy who's actually, you know, very strong in that category, they're going to feed off of that. And, and overall, that compatibility is going to be that much stronger. Longer, versus a guy who is not so confident they're they're gonna eat you alive the third thing you can do to always make sure that you can get a girlfriend is be direct 
do not play games, guys. There are a lot of guys out there who still think that they need to lead a girl on or they need to play, you know, these certain rules, these certain, you know, game and everything like that, that, you know, that for some reason it will keep a girl interested. For example, if you're, you know, you're, you seem like you're interested in one moment, you know, you're sending her text messages that are long, heartfelt, you know, that are meaningful, that are very detailed, and the next day you're very short with her, you know, you're sending her the, you know, the dreadful K or, you know, one worded messages and those type of guys in the long run, they will not keep the girl, you know, it, you know, all that might seem exciting at first, you know, you may seem like you're a young Casanova when it comes to women, you know, trying to actually know what it's like to actually get the girl, but you have, let's just say that you're on borrowed time when you're trying to actually shoot your shot with these girls. She's actually going to determine within the first few days of you actually talking to her, whether or not that you're going to be serious about the relationship or not. And if she picks up in the slightest that you're not going to overall lock in this whole entire thing, she's going to leave you in the dust. Number four, be a gentleman. This is a, about as simple as it can get guys if you come across this channel you consider yourself part of the hb community you are first and foremost a gentleman i cannot tell you how many times so many guys think that they need to be a complete douche to these girls and treat them you know poorly or try to keep them at arm's length and you know just overall treat them like crap just to keep her interested no women are actually looking for the nice guy believe me you know that whole nice guys finish last thing it's complete crap i can guarantee you that and just be a nice guy to these girls you know it's not that hard it's not hard at all and it's something that it completely amazes me when i see a lot of guys be like well i don't want to think i don't want her to think i'm too nice now don't be a pushover don't let her walk all over you don't let anybody walk all over you but at the same time know who you are as a man know who you are and what you're about but at the same time be humble about it and you know treat her with respect at the end of the day that's the most important thing you need to treat her with the most utmost respect that you want her to treat you and that you will want to hurt her to treat everyone else around you and vice versa and that way this whole relationship thing I guarantee you it will work and last but certainly not least the last thing you can do to for sure get the girl of your dreams and that's to be yourself again a very simple one it seems corny but it, it has a deeper meaning than what a lot of people think if you try to be someone that you're not and that person falls in love with that fake you know persona that you put out there they're in love with that persona not actually you and it's you have to work twice as hard three times as hard four times as hard to actually keep up that persona just to keep them interested and overall you're gonna burn yourself out therefore burning out the relationship and have yet another disaster on your hands be it's, it's not that hard guys you know if you feel like you have to change yourself you have to you know put on a mask and actually pretend to be something that you're not then that person is not worth your time it's not worth the effort to actually try to pursue a relationship with them because they are looking clearly looking for something else that you're not so at the end of the day guys be who you are you know and if you feel like you need to improve on some things just so you can help yourself and help you know your side of that relationship then go ahead and do that i would always encourage that but at the end of the day stay true to yourself make sure that you can morally you know live with yourself when you're in this relationship you can look at that person that you're with and you're actually proud of what you two have accomplished together that you're proud of the partnership that you two have because you guys connect on that personal level all just because that at the end of the day you're able to open yourself freely to that person and they're able to fall in love with exactly what they see all right and that's all i have for you today guys like i said it's not that complex it's just some things that you have to slow down and think about just so that you know that you're good in all of those categories and make sure that you know a few good ways to have, make sure that you always get the girl that you want 
However, if you feel like I missed something, you know, I didn't hit a mark that you would have liked to see in this video, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be discussing with you guys for the next few hours when I release this video. But if you did like this video and you learned something from it, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and help us build the HB community. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. See you next time.